All right, well, welcome back to Board Reviews. Nick here. Jody there. And we are ready to record, how do we say that? To react, sounds already been recorded, to some more 8 out of 10 Cats Does Countdown. Now, once again, we record, sometimes a few weeks before we post it, we reacted to the first two parts of the very first episode of 8 out of 10 Cats. Audience wanted us to check this one out, so we shifted gears. If you want us to finish the other one, let us know. But we're going to continue with this. We finished parts one and two of the first episode. This is now the second episode that aired. It doesn't have names. It just, this is actually not the second episode that aired, so that's not fun. But we're just going in the order of this playlist here. This one does have a name. It's called The Rematch. It came out August 24th. 2012. 2012. Now, that was, I believe, the first season, so that works. So it's 11 years old. Yeah, I was hoping this little uh, playlist would go in order. They're going to make me do some work. That's not cool. Just want to double check. So this one is longer than the last one. This is probably going to be four or five parts. But this is the first part of this episode. If you like our reactions to this in any way, and you like our reaction to this one today, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be aware of our next uploaded videos. It's, I don't know, it kind of comes off a little boring to me to do like part one, two, three, four, and five, but we can't just put a 40 minute episode on there on our channel and just call it our own. So it's the kind of game you play. So we hope you guys don't mind and just enjoying the different parts that we're posting here. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this one right now. Tonight on 8 Out of 10 Cats Does Countdown, our reigning champion, it's John Richardson. Ready for the rematch, it's Sean Maybe this is the next episode, In Dictionary but Corner, later. he's vowel mouth. it's David O'Doherty. My word, it's Susie Dent. She's a math magician, it's Rachel Riley. Now, welcome your host, Jimmy Welcome to 8 out of 10 Cats Does Countdown, a show all about letters, numbers and conundrums. Did you know, according to lexicographers, 40 is the only number that when written down has all its letters in alphabetical order. Interestingly, 40 is also how old most lexicographers are before they see a naked lady. <laughs> the word crap comes from the last name of the person that invented the toilet, Thomas Crapper, narrowly beating designs by Thomas Schitter and Thomas, I'd leave that 10 minutes if I were you. <laughs> <laughs> palindromes are words or phrases that read the same in both directions. My favourite palindromes that I've ever come across are tit and boob. <laughs> right, let's get started. It's an obvious game, but the co-host, the girl, quite cute. OK, let's meet tonight's players. First up, it's our Cats Countdown reigning champion, John Richardson. Very smug film. You can see John regularly in 8 out of 10 cats, stand up for the week, and the meals for one section of his local supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> in 1998, chess player Gary Kasparov was beaten by supercomputer Deep Blue. But later this year, John will seek to prove that there are still some tasks beyond modern technology when he takes on the computer at match.com. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. And up against John <laughs> is Sean Locke. <laughs> Laid back Sean is best described as happy go fuck yourself. <laughs> Sean never saying, fails to no. see the funny saying side that? of life. No. It doesn't matter whether he's shouting at a child or drop kicking a kitten, you always see him <laughs> laughing. <laughs> Remind me, what happened last time you played? Through some weird sort of anomaly of scoring, John went home with a teapot. <laughs> <laughs> An anomaly of scoring? Swatsy, planet head here. One. That's what happened. Your face, we got the same train back. And I, uh, I had my teapot, but I thought I'd lost my... I really wanted my nameplate for my desk. Yeah, you did. And I thought I'd lost it on the train. <laughs> and I was on the train, oh, I think I've lost my... And your face really said, you are a penis. <laughs> <laughs> now support... Now, oh, that's a shame, John. That would have been a really good memento to have. You just yeah. said, it's just your name written on a piece of paper. <laughs> 
He's right, though. Well, I just hope for John's sake he doesn't win tonight, cos then he'd have more teapots than friends. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Oh. Love it. The tension, it's a grudge yeah. match. Be honest, as a form of humiliation, it's all right for you, you won. It's awful. I'd rather do a Bush Tucker trial. <laughs> there's, there's a certain yeah. dignity in eating a kangaroo's bollock. <laughs> which you don't get from losing at spelling quizzes. <laughs> so, do you feel extra pressure? Because we're all expecting so, you to win by some margin. Really no, they're that. not expecting that! <laughs> Who, well, I mean, what are you talking about? Everyone is expecting John it's to horrible. win. It's horrible. I hope I lose. The pressure's... I can't get on a train. People are shouting letters at me. <laughs> it's horrible. See how you cope with the pressure. I don't think it'd be a problem. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but the jump, it's just jumbled up. I look at the... When the letters come up, it just doesn't mean... I just don't see anything. It's like a Dutch number plate. <laughs> what about that one? I mean, that one's easy. Start with that one. Out, I've got there. <laughs> <laughs> I've got another word. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got that Okay, one. over in Dictionary Corner today, it's mm. David O'Doherty. Oh, yeah. Send out the funny text. Hey, we're all wearing novelty jumpers on Countdown. It's going to be hilarious, David. <laughs> you all wear your fancy suits, and I'm left here looking pretty sweet, actually. Very nice. As an Irishman, David is probably more familiar with the Irish version of this show, County Down. <laughs> <laughs> With his quirky, unkept appearance, David O'Doherty resembles a top university professor who's fallen on hard times, turned to alcohol, and gone to live in a hedge. <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice to have you here, David. <laughs> it's what I meant right. to say. It's a, it's a pleasure. Yeah, it's fun, right? It's one of my top two favourite shows on Channel 4. After Grand Designs. Um, <laughs> here's how much I love Grand Designs, dressed up as Kevin MacLeod for Halloween. And he doesn't really have a look, so it's just a T-shirt with a leather jacket. And when people didn't know who I was, to give them a clue, I'd just be mildly critical of their interior decoration. <laughs> I, mean, I really like what you tried to do here, and it very nearly worked. <laughs> <laughs> and with David is, of course, Susie Dent. She's got to have someone in the telling her things so quickly. Susie really likes nothing more than taking a dictionary to bed and having a good flick. Just like your mum with Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> <laughs> and in charge of numbers, it's Rachel Riley. <laughs> Rachel Riley is the sexiest mathematician in the world, which sounds impressive until you find out number two is Stephen Hawking. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel Riley is as clever as she is beautiful, but then again, so is Sean Locke. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. OK, let's get ready to count down. Time for the first game. Let's John, you get the first pick of the letters. I'll have a consonant, please. Thank you, John. You Start sure? with sure? a good one, R. I don't think a consonant's a good idea, John. <laughs> we get rid of the R. <laughs> Whatever you want. I'm really easily R. led. Really? Oh. <laughs> I wrote it to Chaos down. already. Brilliant. <laughs> There'll be people, countdown fans, watching that going, You can't do that! <laughs> Great letter. <laughs> Come on, pick your letter. have a consonant. Thank you, John. M. Oh, much better. That's better. That's better. And another one, please. So dumb. Can't G. Say that and not sound like a dick. <laughs> and another one, please. <laughs> Let's bang another one out. Do <laughs> you write them all down? I will just write the last one, Sean, and see how you get on. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> I'll have a, a vowel, please. Oh, I've written two ends oh. down. Someone gasped when I said vowel, then. <gasps> uh, yeah, let's shit another vowel in there. <laughs> e. And another one, please. A. And another consonant, please. 
F. Yeah, RB and right a now. another vowel, please. And the last one. O. Right, well, for the first time today, here's the countdown clock. Not very good that time. Yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> how many letters, John? Just a five. Sean? I'm very sure. Yeah, I got four, but they're all four letters. Fang, mean, goof, and game. So I couldn't think of anything but mean. I, ca I kept seeing, like, Magnavox, which was an old TV brand, because that X, the X was throwing me off. I just... Oh, I guess you could put Ox. Yeah, that's, that's a, a great short one. one. Yeah. Or Fox, and that's an easy one. Yeah. <laughs> Sean, what? how many you got? Well, how many have I got? Yeah. Oh, I've got to count them up now. Jesus. Um, <laughs> I'll give you one. You won't need the other hand. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. Six? Yeah. Okay, John, Whoa. what have you got? But it is using my free oh, letter. You could have done the <laughs> so you played your joker? Yes, I've my I have a letter I use. It's like, a, it's like an O, it's like a, an O, it's got a line through it and a smiley face. I call it, I call it free letter and it counts as anything. <laughs> All right, four. Four, Sean, what have you got? Four. Foog. <laughs> Are you spelling Foog in the traditional manner? F double O G. <laughs> Foog. <laughs> as in Takata N. No, no, it's in, if I'm going to Foog. Something. <laughs> You're using this in the sense of you're fooging this right up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, which is of... very accurate. Well, <laughs> a fooger would have fooged things, yes, definitely. <laughs> a fooger would have travelled round the village and announcing, have you got anything to foog? <laughs> and would bring it out and they go, oh, the fooger's here, and they would, he would foog it. Ah, uh, John. I've got foog, I've just put an extra R in it. <laughs> um, I've got gnome. No. That's that's it. It. Oh. Like that. uh, David, did you do any better than the gnome? Yeah, I've got a X mango. <laughs> <laughs> it used to be a mango, but now it's just a rotting pile of flies and mold. Mango's a good X mango. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Susie, what, what could they have had? I'm afraid only about fives too. Mange, not very nice. Uh, fango, which is mud from thermal springs in Italy. So just fives was was all that was possible. <laughs> yeah, you did as well fives. as could be expected. Thank you. <laughs> well, not so often. That really is the best we could have hoped for you, John. Well done. <laughs> so, at the end of that, uh, John is in the lead with five points. <laughs> well done, John. Well done. So. OK, Sean, your turn to pick the letters. Oh, I forgot. Um, I forget. A vowel, please. Thank you, Sean. That's right. E. <laughs> Another vowel, please. I. Another vowel, please. <laughs> E-I-E-I-O. Uh, another vowel, please. <laughs> Where's the O at? Oh, please let it be an O! <laughs> I'll have to go for another vowel, please. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. E -I -E -I -A. <laughs> I have a consonant, please. Goodness. S. S. And another consonant. N. I'll bash out a couple more. Will you, darling? <laughs> B and B. H. Thank you. And your time starts now. Those. <laughs> I, I spell that word. Hmm? Bane? I don't 
don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's not how you spell that. What but, is hyeni? I don't know. Hyeni? I was looking for words that like might I had have beans the I as well. E, beans. I had yeah. beans. I was like, ooh, an S beans. The old bongo trick. <laughs> I what was, is snabe? I, I was looking for like if I could see any I E like E words and then any B E. Stop. Look at these words she's got. Stop. Snabe. I think you're looking for the Good. Harry Potter character. I was just trying to find the biggest one I could, so that's why I only have two on there. Beans. I was just trying to like lay out the letters. This whole like, joke with all those vowels is killing me right now. <laughs> I was trying to go with the vowel of like forms though. I, E, A, I, like A consonant E. Like that's what I was just trying to play around with. I like the way you do mm -hmm. snakes. Uh, Sean, uh, what, how many letters? Five. Five for John? Uh, seven, I think. Seven? Oh, that's good. Sean, what's your five? Sheen. What's your seven, John? Uh, Banshee. Brilliant. Whoa. Oh. He's a fan, I love it. Dude. It's a noise I hear a lot in the bedroom. She screamed like her. Uh... As you peered at the window. <laughs> <laughs> so good. So really good. David, uh, David, could they have done any better than Banshee? Um, I got a three. <laughs> oh, is this the biggest? <laughs> um, yeah, we got some more sevens. Hi, knees. Hi, knees. Which John also might see a lot in the bedrooms. Those are people's buttocks, and they might be wearing beanies, beanie hats. But seven is the top again. Well done. It's. <laughs> so we're just gonna pause. I'm pretty sure I spelled it right. High knees. I think they just add an H at the. E I mean an S, S at the end. But she said seven. High knees. Oh. It's got Heineken right there. But you spell it I. H I E. I messed up. Even I put I. She I. still loses, baby. I I'm put kidding. I E on. We that technically one. tied on that one, but uh, as she looks it up because she wants to see how far off she was, I'm not good at that game. I'm not gonna lie. I'm as good as Sean Locke is there. Is that his name, Sean Locke? I'm gonna tell you the only Heine that's coming. Oh, that up is a is, word. Yeah, H I N E. And then, oh, there's H I. H E I N I E. H E I N I E. But, uh, okay, so see, see, I was spelling it correctly the first time, and you gave me a hard time. The E I. No. That's how I put it in here the first time with oh, E I. Okay, excuse me. There's only two options here. You wrote down I E. Anyways, as we bicker, we hope you enjoyed our reaction to this first part. We might be able to get this in in just three parts. We'll try to do that so it's not so many different parts. If you like our reaction, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let us know who you think is going to win between the two of us. So far, it's a tie. Oh, I thought you meant between the two of them. I could care less. Oh, I think this guy's definitely going to win the, um, what's his name? John? I don't yes, know. Yes, John against Sean Locke. Yeah, the, the, it's just called the rematch. But anyways. Let us know what you think. Thank you so much for watching and following along and playing along. We hope you enjoy these. And until next time. Goodbye.